Hi everyone, thanks for popping by and visiting my channel. I'm Coralie, Magic by the Ocean. Today, well, I thought I'd run through a little project I started yesterday. You know when we start one thing and then it snowballs into something completely different? Well, that was me yesterday. I've been watching Kerr at um, my take at the lake and I just love her channel and listening to her is really relaxing <laughs> funnily enough I like it um, yeah so I really wanted to try um, dyeing my papers with food coloring and that was just a disaster and I don't know why just nothing barely any pigment I've used gels I've used food coloring um, but I'm having another go at that today, trying a different way. Yeah, so um, I also did some coffee dyed paper yesterday and watching Christina the other week, um, she had a piece of paper that she'd stamped all over and I was like, oh, I could have a go at that. Long story short, I also wanted to make some rusty metal, um, but I didn't have the product that you need to make the solution. I wasn't going to the shops just to get that. So I went downstairs and collected my, when I moved, I had a, a bucket full of stuff, bits and pieces from my old house. So when I'll grab those and what I did, um, I painted them with acrylic paint and stamped them on just some coffee dyed paper after I'd stamped underneath. I did some stamping. And then I did different colour ones just to experiment as we do. I really don't like this because it's camouflage colours and that is not my thing. Some people might be into it, but you know, I'll use it and I did. And this one was the first one I did. I went, oh, I actually really like that. It's grungy. Like, you know me, I love my brights and pinks and colour and glittery. I also like vintage and grungy. So I thought they turned out really nice. But this one is my absolute fave. The colour. So when I coffee dyed, there was some green colouring in the water from my attempt at dyeing the papers with food colouring sorry my neighbour's dog's barking and yeah this was the top page so I dried them in a pile and this is the top page which gave it that super coffee grungy colour and then I started stamping I thought wow I love this this is like stuff you see in the shops yeah <laughs> so and what I did, I tore it off before I scanned it. I should have scanned it, but, you know, I might scan this big piece. So I thought I'd show you what I did quickly, I hope. So I had my papers and then I made these little clusters with scrappy cardboard because I love using cardboard. I'm going to show you something else I'll do with it in a minute. Made these little scrappy things with... um scraps stuff that I need to use with my scrappy cardboard I also make tags and I just love the texture I love the sound and I also make journals for myself um, this is probably my favorite one which I will do oh can't get it undone now I will do a flip through Friday maybe film this later but show it on friday for christina's flip through hashtag so this is my little um art journal glue book whatever which i love working in i've done lots of little things in there not finished and this is my moon journal which i'm so behind in full moon journal and this is my messy, look, I made a closure. This is my messy 
So these are all from a cardboard box. Um, oops. Yeah. Just bits and pieces I've made and stuck in there. Not much in there. Another work in progress. And this was just random. Another box. Um, that I was just scrapping, uh, gluing scraps in and I've done nothing. I've just put a little things in there that I might add in work later. Oh, just some tissue paper from the shoe box that I had. Yeah, so I like to make those. They're fun. I love the texture and they're so much fun. It doesn't matter. You can make a mess and it does not matter. So that's why I like to use cardboard and I thought I've got a little bit in there and I saw... Christina made um, some journaling cards out of the scrappy cardboard, but I just wanted to make some clusters just to practice using up the papers I made. Uh, simple, easy. So all I did was grab some coffee dyed paper and randomly, whichever ink you have, whatever colour suits, and I just started smashing <laughs> smashing smashing and um, some text random I, I didn't even plan that for sheets I did yesterday um, I do want to try and make one like Christina had with birds and butterflies but I don't really have birds I have moths and insects so I might do an insect one um, what else? What else do I have? Oh, I have the numbers, so I might do those in brown. And I kind of want it faded. I don't really want, you know, I don't want to stand out too much because it's supposed to be grungy and, you know, old looking. And then... What I did, this is my gorgeous paint palette. This is um, where I work sometimes. People give us chocolates and this was a chocolate cover which I snaffled and I've had a long time now and that's my paint palette. So I did, I think on the first one I did uh, brown and black. This one I just did black, which I kind of like. So I'm just going to go with the black just acrylic, cheap acrylic paint. I don't even know where I got this one, one of the shops. And mm, I don't have water, so I'm just going to have to do it dry, which I don't really like doing, but anyway. And then it's messy and I don't care because I love being messy. So I named one of my journals messy. Um, and I just pressed it down and made some marks. Pretty much just mark making with metal for something different. I mean, probably someone's done it somewhere. I don't know. I didn't look at YouTube videos. I just randomly let my intuition play yesterday and this is what happened. So from going from trying to make really bright, vibrant copy paper with food colouring, I ended up doing this. Oh. Then my partner comes home and he just looked at me in my hands and I'm like, yeah, I'm making a mess. Loving it. And what else? I have this awesome door jam bit you know for the lock to go in just painted it make it look I oh, know I just like it what do you think um, something you like I guess there is those grungy people out there I don't know why I get one really 
maybe it's bent ah I was trying to work out yesterday why I'm getting one really good print one end and not the other and I thought it must be my pressure but I don't think it is I think it's just the shape of it cool and what else do I have some keys old keys from my old house which um obviously aren't needed <laughs> I've got keys in here which I don't even know what they're for. You know what that's like? Just some random prints. Of keys. And what else do I have? I have this metal thing. Another off a hinge or a bracket or something. And I like the faded ones too. Give it that little bit of character. What else do I have? Had more than that. Um, I think there was something else. Anyway. Doesn't matter. I could. Well, what did I do with my... Oh, here. <laughs> I think I did some like screw, some screw um, marks. Maybe not on this one, but it was on something. And I think I could do with some bigger ones. Oh yeah, I used this thing. No, I didn't. There's chain. What about this one? This little. actually has rust on it I could probably just throw it in and get it rusty and I like some of them faded and you know give it that extra bit of texture so that's that one is it similar to the other let's have a look Harrison. Gee, I love that colour. You know how you try and recreate <laughs> and it doesn't always happen. Maybe more coffee. But yeah. Look at the difference. Anyway, I still like it. I still like this one 100 percent better. So that's that. And then all I did was I have any cardboard because I quite I use it quite a lot actually. Oh, I've got tons. I've got tons. You see under my desk baskets of scraps. A long one? I'll do a long one. All I did was this. I'm been stamping up this um, bias binding cream i got that for three dollars at the op shop for 50 meters i'm just going to go outside and show you so these are drying in the sun these are what i stamped yesterday and just decided to throw them in my solution of coffee dye one of them's dry so we might bring this one in and use that let the rest dry they're probably blowing out in the wind Um, yeah, so we've got that, that, and we'll use a bit of what I used yesterday. Bit of that. Bit of that. You can staple it on glue it, so I've been stapling on the paper. It's probably got no staples in it. And then I, um, you can grunge up the edges, you don't have to, but it depends what you like.
and then I have this little flower and I actually glued it on just one side just to give it some uh, I was kind of want it loose but not you know loose loose I just want it attached semi attached and then all I did was add a button to the top and sewed it on but I'm not going to show you all that work you get the gist and that one looks good the buttons really do need to be sewn on because um, just to keep them I mean you could use proper super glue or something but I don't use super glue I don't have any so yeah and that's it pretty much easy I mean the paper took some time but I loved making it so I've got some more out there soaking in some coffee try and get that really dark grungy greeny color again which I absolutely adore like you know when you just make something it's like oh I have to hoard that but I think I'll scan it and I'm not sure how it looks on camera but yeah so these are the little scrappy cardboard clusters and I did make a bright one and I'm yeah I will use them up good to add in a little journal or happy mail uh, this one I just added a little pin I thought that was cute I really want to rust up some charms and old bits and yeah have a go at that so yeah there we have it a little quick video on what I was doing yesterday and hopefully I can nail the um the colored paper today we'll see okay that's all see you next time bye